John Renault just came out with two brand new styles from their Smart Lace collection. This is Clementine and I have Harper and we're going to take a look at both. And yes, the color that I chose for my lips today was inspired by Clementine. At first look, you may struggle to find the differences between Clementine and Harper, but let me break it down for you. Clementine is a sleek classic bob with blunt ends. It is a synthetic made out of synthetic fiber. It has an average size cap. It has a full monofilament top. Weirdly enough, this piece came parted on the right, right out of the box. That doesn't typically happen, but because of that full monofilament top, you can part it any way you wish. I think the one thing that I noticed straight away was that I actually needed to take the adjusters and put them all the way out. And for my 22 inch circumference head, I don't normally have to do that with my John Renault wig. So this is not a generous average. It is a true to average, if not a tiny bit smaller. Okay, and the other place that I'm seeing that is on the coverage here. So the coverage is not bad. I have a low hairline, but this is sitting quite a bit further back than many of my other wigs. So I would say that the cap size, certainly it is not a generous average. It's true to average, maybe a touch smaller. Another observation that I absolutely want to share with you is that both pieces straight out of the box have considerable amount of shine, which isn't totally uncommon for straight synthetic fiber wigs. Now, what I have done with Clementine is I have sprayed it with my dry shampoo is this color, which is 12 FS12, it's also known as Malibu Blonde, is looking a touch lighter because of the dry shampoo that I sprayed on it. If you're looking for dry shampoo to help knock out the shine of your wigs, I strongly recommend the John Renault dry shampoo. It doesn't leave um, a dusty feeling or a dusty look or nor does it change the color of the fiber. We'll take a full look at Harper, but I wanted to show you the difference. So this is a different color. This is 12 FS8 shaded praline, okay? And there's a zigzag part, so I've done nothing. The tag is still on it. And I'm not sure if you're picking up, but you can abs I can see for sure a considerable amount of shine. So I would want to spray it with my dry shampoo so that it knocks out some of the shine. The shine will dissipate over time, but I just wanted to show you an example of the fiber and the shine that we're seeing on it straight out of the box without dry shampoo and with dry shampoo. I really do love the style of Clementine, you know, that classic bob with blunt ends. And I'll do a turn so that you can see her from all sides. So here is my right side and the back, my left hand side, and back to the front. I'll take Clementine off so that you can see the inside of her cap. So as I mentioned, it's got a full monofilament top parted on the right hand side, which isn't typical. So you can part it anywhere within this space. You may find, because it comes parted on a particular spot, readjusting the fiber to lay either as a center part or a left-handed part may require a bit of encouraging. I found that with this piece. So I had taken it from the right-hand side and I had tried to play around with it to part it on the left, to part it in the middle. I didn't want to play around too much with the style and the fiber itself, so I just left it as a right-handed part. What I would do is I would spray it with water, I would part it in its desired location. You could also utilize steam. You can't use heat because this is straight synthetic fiber wick. As I mentioned, it has a lace front and it does not run into the ear tabs. This particular piece, as well as Harper, do not have extended lace fronts. And then you've got wefted sides, wefted back, a really beautiful extended nape with those Velcro adjusters. And as I mentioned earlier, I did have to put these to the furthest point. I could wear them a little bit further in. It just feels more comfortable for me and longer wearing comfort to have them where I have placed them here with my 22 inch circumference head. All right, so this is Harper in 12 FS8. I have not removed the zigzag part. I want to show you that the cap style is exactly the same. However, this style did come 
parted right in the center, which I personally like, but because you've got that full monofilament top, you can absolutely part this where you want it. You may just find that you need a little bit of water and perhaps even a little bit of steam to redirect these fibers out of the middle part position to either the left or the right. So I broke the zigzag part, but I left the shine <laughs> so that you guys can see the fiber. I mean, this one actually doesn't look as shiny. This is the 12 FS8 as 12 FS12 did when I first got it out of the box. There's really two key differences between Harper and Clementine that we looked at. Number one, Harper is a little bit longer, and number two, it has layers where Clementine was more of a blunt cut. So if you prefer um, more layering, then perhaps Harper is the one that you wanna take a look at. And I was eager to get this one on my head because I wanted to see if the cap was fitting me the same on Harper as it was on Clementine, and it absolutely is. So again, I have a 22 inch circumference head. It is fitting me a little bit snug, even at the furthest setting. And the coverage is fitting me exactly the same on Harper as it did on Clementine, which is a little bit further back than I'm used to. So Harper weighs 4.8 ounces, where Clementine is virtually the same at 4.6. These front sections here are seven and a quarter inches. Crown is 13 and a half. The sides are 10 and a quarter. And then the nape is six and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and do a turn so that you can see Harper on all sides. Clearly my friend, this is my right hand side. So with those layers, you're seeing a little bit of the flips and if the flipping isn't your thing, then I would actually encourage you to take a look at Clementine. All right, here's the back. I'll put all the hair at the back. My left hand side and back to the front. So let me know in the comments below, do you prefer Harper or Clementine? If you're interested in either of these styles, you can find them at wigsbypattiespearls.com and be sure to save with discount code Erin, E-R-Y-N-N 30. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.